Welcome to Flash Portal TV, and today we are counting down the top 10 private schools in Zimbabwe. For this list, we chose the 10 non-government schools with the most significant achievements. I learned historical success both academically and on the sports field, as well as progressive schools who've adopted innovations in learning and technology. We are focusing exclusively on secondary schools for this list. For all tigers out there, Prince Edward is still considered a government school, and so it does not feature on this list. Number 10. Arundel School In early 1954, 100 acres of Arundel Farm became the site of Arundel School. The school offers both day and boarding school facilities for girls aged 12 to 18 years old. The school's foundation stone was laid on May 27, 1955, a day commemorated every year with a special service. The Arundel Chapel is in much use today, not only for school services, but also as a community service for all those who seek its peace and serenity. One headmaster described the Arundel community as being a school within the grounds of a chapel. Another great part of the Arundel school tradition is the Fenilla Cottage, situated in Yanga at the foot of the Fenilla Falls on the road to the world's view above Tropic Resort. The college nestles in a small valley surrounded by pine forests. Left in the trust of the school after the passing away of Mr. T.B. Simpson in 1989, the cottage has since been used by geography, mathematics, biology and art students. It is also the site for the annual Arundel Prefix Leadership Camp. Number 9. Watershed College Founded in 1987, Watershed College was built on a 64-acre piece of land in a pastoral setting near Marondera that belonged to Mr. George Van Niekerk. The college offers secondary education as well as a diploma course in agriculture for girls and boys aged between 12 and 18 years old. The owl symbol on the school badge stands for wisdom and the school motto, Ex Arius Florio, loosely translates to, Through hard work we prosper. Known for a standard of very high O and A level pass rates, the education system at the school stands true to its motto. Another area that has soared to great heights in recent years has been the music department of the school. Under the guidance of Mr. and Mrs. Trocheter, the choir and the marimba band in particular have maintained a standard of excellence that has led them to playing at major functions outside the school such as the 2015 ICASA conference at Rainbow Towers Hotel in Harare, as well as attending a music tour in Argentina in 2015. Number 8. Lomagundi College Lomagundi College is an independent, co-educational, boarding and day senior school situated about 110 kilometers northwest of the capital Harare on the outskirts of Chinoy, the provincial capital of Mashonaland West. The college motto is Tabatana which is a Shana word meaning togetherness. Lamagundi believes in its spirit of togetherness and harmony between students at all levels, including the classroom, dormitories, and sports playing fields. The college occupies just over 120 hectares of land and first opened its doors on February 14, 1983, a date which is taken to be their annual Founders Day, where the children are allowed to attend school in civvies as did the very first pupils back in 1983. Lomagundi is the only school in Zimbabwe to have international status for its mountain biking course that was laid by a parent with the assistance of a senior pupil of that school. Number 7. Chisipita Senior School Opening its doors in 1954, Chisipita Senior School has more than 70 academic staff and can cater for 750 pupils with boarding facilities for 150 girls. The school has a vibrant involved parent-teacher liaison committee whose main task is to facilitate the participation of the parents in numerous school events. The school pays great attention to pastoral care by incorporating life skill lessons into the curriculum and employing two staff counselors. Interested sixth formers may also be trained as listeners to act as support to the junior pupils. The name Chisipite is a Shana word for spring, and this has both inspired the fountain badge and the motto Fans Vitae Caritas. The spring from which the school derives its name still rises in the nearby Vlay. Number 6. St. George's College. Founded in 1896 in the city of Kings, Bulawayo, 
St. George's then moved to Harare, then Salisbury, in 1927. The college boasts stunning 40 hectare grounds, located adjacent to the National Botanical Gardens. St. George's College is one of the celebrated historical and architectural sites of the city of Harare and is widely regarded for producing exceptional young sporting talent over the years. The college has superb facilities for 15 sporting disciplines, including athletics, water polo, boat club, and even golf. Number 5. Hellenic Academy Established in 2008, Hellenic Academy was the brainchild of the Zimbabwean Greek community. This elite co-ed secondary school is set on a beautiful campus in Alexandra Park, located in the northern suburbs of Harare. Boasting nearly 550 students, equally divided between boys and girls, Hellenic Academy has a mixture of students from all racial backgrounds, including students of African, Western and Mediterranean descent. Most impressive is the integration of technology with the use of smartphones and tablet devices. Students are treated to an online management system that works both as an organizer and a classroom assistant. Number 4. Falcon College Built over the site of the Bushtick Mine, which at one point was the largest gold mine in the British colony of southern Rhodesia, Falcon College formally opened its gates in 1954. Falcon College remains a historic landmark in the Isigodini area of the Matabinland South Province. With excellent academic and sporting infrastructure, including a state-of-the-art swimming pool, Falcon College has a great history of producing some of the most exceptional young minds and sporting talents in Zimbabwe today. This boarding school has a competitive house system as students are enrolled into one of six houses. Founders, Harvey, Oates, Treadgold, George Gray or Chubb. The virtues of the house system are that the boys are taught discipline and responsibility. In a system that merits privileges to students as they progress academically and in seniority over the years. Number 3. Harare International School Apart from being the only school on this list where children aren't subjected to a strict code of school uniform, Harare International School, or HIS, enrolls a diverse student body of approximately 450 students representing over 60 nationalities. The school teaches students from elementary level right through to grade 12 and is modeled on the North American International Curriculum Guidelines. HIS is an IB World School and an IB Continuum School. It is also an active member of the Association of International Schools in Africa, the Association for the Advancement of International Education, and the Association for the School Curriculum and Development, just to name a few. Number 2. St. John's College Built in 1986, St. John's College admits boys aged from 12 to 18 years old. Known by their nicknames, John's, Green Blazer, or the Rams, St. John's has been leading most Zimbabwean schools in its feats of academic and sporting excellence. With a comprehensive academic program which includes subjects like information technology and international business, St. John's College also boasts great student management application. With state-of-the-art teaching tools like projectors and interactive boards installed in many classrooms, the St. John's learning experience is a testament to Zimbabwe's impressively high literacy rate of over 80% for the entire nation. Their sporting talent isn't so bad either. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions.
Number one, Peterhouse Group of Schools. The Peterhouse Group of Schools is a group of Anglican boarding schools consisting of Peterhouse Boys School, Peterhouse Girls School, and Springville House Preparatory School, all located just outside the city of Marondira in Zimbabwe. Founded by Anne McGehee in 1984, the Peterhouse Group also includes Peter Haven at Nyanga, as well as the Gosho Park and the Coldwood Park Conservation, Education Projects, and Wildlife Sanctuaries. For the sake of this list, our focus is on the high schools that are Peterhouse Boys and Peterhouse Girls. Peterhouse Boys is the oldest member of the group, founded in 1955 by Fred Snow. The school caters to approximately 500 boys from Form 1 to 6 Form. Rich in cultural activities and societies beyond the classroom walls, Peterhouse Boys offers a course in Learner Hunter's Guidance. For those interested in a career in wildlife, the Peterhouse Exploration Society gives students the opportunity to travel and experience real-life expeditions. There are also unique cultural classes at the school, such as playing the violin and music. Peterhouse Girls School was founded in 1987 under the headship of Michael Hammond. It has an enrollment of 430 boarding pupils. Like the boys' school, Peterhouse Girls is rich in a diverse range of clubs and societies that include equestrian and rowing. Do you agree with this list? Be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the section below. Thanks for watching! Be sure to subscribe to Flash Portal TV for more top 10s published every week.